Hi, I'm Dodd Kitzley, Director of ETF Strategy at Davis Advisors, coming to you from the Davis Investment Forum here in New York City, our inaugural event. We just wrapped up with a panel on myths and opportunities around exchange-traded funds, and one of the common themes that was being discussed as well as asked by the audience was around the T in ETFs, around the trading. And the panelists had shared some key considerations when placing an exchange traded fund trade. Uh, so I'd love to review those today. The first is to always use a limit order. A limit order helps advisors and investors name their price and control their price when they're putting in a trade for an ETF. General guidance there is to put it between the bid and the ask uh, for purchases close to, to the ask, for sales closer to the bid and execution generally will occur, but that protects against uncertainty in the market. The second piece of advice is buy exchange traded funds during the day, but try to avoid market opens and closes. During the open and close, there tends to be more volatility in ETF trades because there's more volatility in the underlying securities. Bid ask spreads tend to be wider. You'll get better execution if you wait a little bit after the open or execute just uh, make sure before uh, the end of the trading day. Uh, another thing is to look beyond average daily volume. There are many instances where there are ETFs with de minimis trading volume, modest trading vol volume, uh, but that is not an indication of the true liquidity of an exchange traded fund. The true liquidity of ETFs is driven by the liquidity of the underlying securities. A very useful metric that many investors are using that's available on Bloomberg and other data services is something called implied liquidity. And implied liquidity essentially tells you the capacity of which an ETF trade can occur that will not impact the underlying securities. Uh, so to give you an example, DUSA, which is the Davis Select U.S. Equity Exchange Traded Fund, trades about 30,000 shares a day. But that is a small amount of the capacity that an investor could place to uh, be able to uh, get a fair and uh, efficient execution. The implied liquidity is actually over 9 million shares of DUSA. The final piece of advice is when placing large trades or orders, utilize trading desks, both ETF issuer capital markets desks, as well as your broker dealers trading desk as well. They can help source liquidity, give advice both on a pre-trade as well as an actual trade basis to ensure that liquidity is working to your advantage. Thank you, have a great day.